there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. We are here once again with Trevor. Hi there. Welcome back. And we're, we're picking up where we left off on your things. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice now there's, there's red rings around them because an hour ago this was making a kayak. So, yeah. Um, we were kicking around the idea on this of doing something rather artistic with it because we have CNC. Let's show it off a bit. So what I was thinking is we have the big Adam Gear logo things and right. that, you know, it's the Geek Group logo. Well, we've got a big circle here. We could cut this out with the gear thing and that gives us some extra little primary tap points. The question is, will it be able to handle supporting that? If it can't, we can build a bit of a superstructure under it and that's pretty trivial. So I fear we take a minute and cut that and then that finishes the top plate. The bottom plate is already done. We're, we're cool here. We don't have to worry about this because okay. There's more to drill and stuff on here, but we'll be doing that by hand as we mount individual components like the NST and stuff like that. So let's rock this out, and I'm still considering whether or not we should make this out of MDF instead, but I'm not, or maybe even just plywood. I might, I might cut a bottom out of plywood. So we'll kick that around and see what we think, but this is just about ready to go. So we're gonna get this wrapped up today, and then we'll start on doing the vertical mounts. Okay. All right, cool, with that, we're gonna hand it over to Moose and let her do the machining. All right. All right, so our cutting's done. We've got this unscrewed. So now we have our top piece, and this is nice, pretty UHMW. So we'll have our secondary go through here. You can wear this as a hat. This could be a good look for you. Yeah, that's you, you. You could go like this, and you've got a little Statue of Liberty thing happening there. I like it. It's, that works. Okay. Yeah. I, can I have that back? Please? Yeah, you can. All right. So the primary coil form is going to go here, or the primary coil is going to go here, and it'll actually bridge out here, which will make tapping really easy. So if we get there's pills for that now. Yeah, you don't, sure you don't have to suffer. For just <laughs> pennies a day, you could adopt a poor, yeah. But if we're really lucky, your tap point will end up out on one of these turns. So that'll make things really easy for that kind of thing. We have to drill this out in here, but that's trivial. That's easy to sort out. Now we're going to, we made the bottom out of this, but I'm liking the idea of, I, I think we'll leave the bottom like it is with this, or go with a plywood bottom for more structural rigidity. But bridging between here and here, traditionally, you just use four pieces of pipe. Mm -hmm. Really just four pipe nipples with a threaded wall flange and you're set. And that's how a lot of people do it, but we're the geek group. We can do better. We have CNC. We have a moose. You have a geek group, which yeah. means everything gets complicated. It has, yeah, actually, yeah, pretty much that's how it works. What I want to do is it's going to sit like this. We'll make a bottom out of plywood so it's stronger. We'll, this will sit up about that high. We'll plan on, let's say, a foot just to make it a nice round number. Okay. And we'll make an interesting UHMW shape. It could just be a simple vertical piece, but I think we can make something cooler than that. So we'll make four ribs that will allow us to pass wires through and will look cool. I need, you get me the fourth <laughs> axis and we'll do that. I, I'd need fourth axis tooling to do that. <laughs> but the next step is to make the vertical ribs and we'll make a plywood version of this and then we just bolt it together and we're set. And we can use nylon bolts, which you can get at boltdepot.com. And <laughs> work that in there. I'm pushing them bolts. But it's, uh, yeah, it'll be all nylon hardware. There'll be no metal in the structure at all when it's all done so that we don't have hot spots or arcing or any of that. So now we go on to making that part and once again, I'm going to leave you in Moose's capable hands. Okay. All right.
right, so we've done a ton of cutting. We've got our top piece done. That's cool. We've got the bottom piece done. It just needs to be routed off and get rid of the, the janks. Right. Okay, so that'll give us a really stable lower base. And then these will be the vertical supports, which will go like that around, and we'll get the special bolts and get that all bolted up. We'll just drill and tap, because you can drill and tap this. Okay. So we'll drill and tap, nylon bolts, it's done. It'll be simple, rigid, good design. And we're gonna let people at home see if they can figure out the name for your coil. And the winner of the contest, vote in, in the comments or whatever, but the first person to comment with the proper name of Trevor's Tesla coil project Wins, uh, what do they win? Bolt Depot thread gauges? Bolt yeah. Okay, Bolt Depot thread gauges. First person to comment in with the correct name of Trevor's Tesla coil will win a free set of Bolt Depot thread gauges autographed by Trevor and me, because we're cool like that. So you guys have fun. We'll be back next week where we're actually putting things together instead of just cutting them out. And as we build the base, and then from there we go into the spark gap and the MMC and all that and pretty soon you have a working Tesla coil. All right. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. You have fun. We'll be back next week. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And as always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.